in Tanzhualien as the fifth city international humanitarian aid seminar came to an end on April 20th. Today we take a closer look at some specific inventions that were showcased by the Industrial Technology Research Institute and Dye Technology. In total, over 200 participants from four countries came together to exchange ideas and learn from new disaster relief technology. Dozens of participants gathered together to learn from one city volunteer on how this charging station works. This charging station is designed for disaster survivors who can use it to charge electronic devices, like cell phones. Media volunteers can also use this charging station. Later, volunteer Yan Shenyan demonstrates a light bar and its uses in disaster areas. You can clip the light bar onto a desk. With its magnet inside, it can be fixed in this direction, and that direction too. In addition, you can also hang it on a hook. It lasts 8 to 10 hours before needing recharging. The light bar also serves as a reminder for volunteers to conduct follow-up home visitations. If the disaster survivors don't bring it back on the second day for a recharge, we will go to their home to see if they have any problems or if they need anything. During the three-day Ziji International Humanitarian Aid Seminar, over 200 participants from four countries came together to learn more about Ziji's high-tech disaster relief equipment. Kitchen volunteers are also there to help with the event. Some participants prefer spicy food, so we prepared spicy meals. For those who prefer strong flavors, we also prepared meals that can satisfy those appetites. Later, participants seized the chance to learn from each other, hoping to do a better job in future relief work. Another store showcases flexible blackboards made from PET bottles. The idea was inspired by Tsuji's experience in Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, thousands of students have class outdoors with wooden planks serving as their blackboards. To help the students, dye technology used recycled PET bottles to make a flexible blackboard. You can use a wet cloth to wipe off the words on the blackboard. It's very convenient. Showcasing a bike power water purifier is researcher Chen Jianhong of the Industrial Technology Research Institute. He personally joined city volunteers in the Philippines to better learn the needs of Typhoon Haiyan survivors. We didn't realize the gap between our design and its use before we went to the disaster area. Afterwards, we gradually changed our design to fit the needs of those who would use it. On site is also a pedal power shovel, making shoveling an easier task. City volunteers also showcase two sizes of prefabricated housing. The 18 square meter prefab housing is for four people, while the 24 square meter housing can handle a family of six. Each has an individual living room, bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen. We use cement boards to divide the different areas. They are resistant up to a fire at 2,000 degrees Celsius. Not only easy to assemble, but hardy as well. Suji's prefab housing showcases the NGO's compassion embedded in its practical inventions.